Within this video, we're going to cover how to export an object out of Blender and bring it into the Unreal Engine. Now, I'm going to assume that you already have a model to export out, but if you don't, you can go ahead and just follow along. And if you don't have Blender, I'll go ahead and leave the link down below where you can go ahead and download Blender because it's free and it's awesome to use. So first, let's go ahead and get a model to send out. So to do that, I'm just going to come up here to the very top where it says Add, and I'm going to go ahead and choose Mesh. And underneath Mesh, I'm going to go ahead and choose Monkey. So this one right here. So now that I have an object in here, I want to go ahead and export it out. Now, before I actually export this out, there's a bit of a pro tip that I want to drop in here. And that is where the origin is in the world is going to be very important because that's where the pivot point is going to be on the object when we get into the Unreal Engine. Now, if you don't understand what that means, just kind of pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm not going to move Suzanne at all. And you can see that she's kind of like right in the middle of this grid. So this little spot right here is where the pivot point is going to be on her. And she'll end up halfway in the ground when we get over to Unreal. So just pay attention to that when it happens. So to export her out, all I need to do is actually go up here into File and then come down here into Export. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the FBX. And I'm going to go ahead and send this off to my desktop. I'll go ahead and give her a name. So Suzanne.FBX will work well enough. So you can go ahead and name it down here. Now, the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and set up our export options. So I'm going to go up here to this operator presets, and I'm going to make sure that it is at its defaults. So I don't have anything extra. So you can do that as well. So you know that we're on the same page. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and set up the settings that are going to be inside here. So first and foremost, I'm just going to send out the selected objects because all I have is Suzanne selected here in the background. And I want to send out just the mesh. So those two are good. Now, next down here underneath geometry, this one right here, I want to go ahead and set this from normals down here to face. And then down at the very bottom, we have this bake animation. I don't have any animation, so I'm going to go ahead and just toggle that one off. So excellent. Those are all the settings that we need to worry about. Now, one other little pro tip I'm going to throw in here is that I may want to actually save this so I don't have to set all this every single time I do this. And we can actually do that. Remember this operator presets up here? If I hit the little plus button right here, this will allow me to actually save these settings. So I'll go ahead and click that and give it a name. So something like Unreal Export. And go ahead and say OK. So now under this drop down up here under operator presets, I will have an export that's specifically built for my Unreal. So I can just choose that and it will set all these every single time. So with all this set up, let's go ahead and just export this out. Now all we need to do is go over to Unreal to import it. And there are a couple ways to do this. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to make it happen. So to bring this into Unreal, to make it real easy, I've just actually taken Unreal and kind of made it a floating window. And I want to go ahead and open up the content drawer down here at the very bottom so I can just drag and drop this in. So we'll go ahead and click down here. Next, I just need to go ahead and grab it off of my desktop and I'll just drag it into this little area below. And you'll notice that my cursor now has changed just a tiny bit. And when I let go, I will get this FBX import options. Now there are a lot of options inside of here, but let's go ahead and reset the defaults up here at the very top, just so that we're all on the same page again. Now, the only thing that I really want to go ahead and change on this is this one right down here. So search location for the materials. Now I don't have any materials, so I'm just going to say do not search. There it is. Now, one other thing that you may or may not want to be dealing with is do you want it to actually generate the missing collision? Now we didn't create collision on this object. That's an entirely other video. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave this as default. So it'll go ahead and create it for me. So perfect. Now I'm just going to come down here and go ahead and press the import or in this case, import all will do the exact same thing because I'm only bringing in one at this time. So go ahead and say import. And we'll go ahead and import that in. And if I go ahead and click on the content drawer, you'll notice that we have Suzanne in here. So now I can just click and drag her in here. And let's go ahead and zoom in on her by pressing the F key. And this is what I was talking about, about that pivot point. So the origin of the world inside of Blender is where that pivot point is going to be. So you can see she's like halfway in the ground. Now, if I want to go ahead and just lift her up, I can just grab this arrow and lift it up. And yay, and that's good to go. And of course, this is where she's going to be rotating from. And this is where she's going to be scaling from as well Is that one little spot right there. So there you have it. This is how you could go ahead and import something in from Blender as well as add in some collision on it. So if you go to play this, you will notice that you will now be able to walk into this and or, well, if I could jump high enough, actually jump up on top of it. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go and just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I can.